Am I on the air? Do I have everybody's attention now? Do I have everybody's attention now? Don, I got you. Don, I Do I have everybody's Sunday attention night. now? He put them cameras on me, then you must be willing To get that heart touched, this a must-see feeling The news ain't good, then it must be villain So I say it's tag grounded, I don't trust these feelings Spread across your nose, and I'm on your air High as next on the cloud, am I in the air? Sunday night's prime time, I flex my better Voltron transform to DX Don, mega and off-scene You probably think I'm nice, cause I flow like a stream To your wireless device, and the smoke full of steam on any given night, how short like a piece of any given slice. Uh, and for the latest and what is best about I, tune in and tune the rest out, Don. You gotta tell them, am I in the clear? Is this thing gone? Am I on the air? On the air. What's Gucci, my friends? Welcome back to another brand new edition of Am I on the Air? I'm your host, Don Mega, and I welcome you to the show. It's season 18, episode 25, and tonight's show is titled Angry Boys. That's right. We're broadcasting live from the Red Dragons Radio Studios here in lovely, hot as hell, Tucson, Arizona, on this Monday, August 19th, my mother's birthday. First and foremost, happy birthday mom My mom passed away a couple years ago Still think of her very, very much on this date And uh, yeah, August 19th, never the same without you I think about you and I miss you every single day Whew, okay So, welcome to the show This is your one-stop shop for all the latest and greatest in entertainment news This is where you come to find out what's going down in the world of television, movies, uh, trailers, reviews, the whole nine We got you covered And tonight we got two movie reviews for you And as always, in spoiler free So you don't have to worry about it We're going to be talking Good Boys The number one movie in the US And Angry Birds 2 That's right The sequel to the hot Angry Birds <laughs> movie So, let's, without any further ado Let's jump right into it Let's kick it off And I'm going to kick it off with Good Boys I'm saying right now, the comedy of the year This movie is so freaking funny From start to finish It was sold out when we went and saw it Friday night And it's one of those movies that you just gotta see with a really good crowd um, You know, what's cool about it is that You're laughing so hard that you're missing other jokes Because you're laughing so consistently Um you know, you've seen the trailers probably by this point. If you haven't, go watch a trailer, especially a Red Band trailer. It's produced by Seth Rogen. It's based ab- about these three uh, tweens, you know, who are in sixth grade, I believe, fifth going into sixth grade, and they're invited to their first kissing party. So they're super, super nervous, and they're trying to figure out how to kiss. So they go on this wild adventure, and things keep happening, um, also that they're prepared for this party. Now, this is a mini super bad kind of movie It's that kind of humor um, Just toned down But at the same time toned up Because I don't know how many other movies are out there Where you see kids of this age Talking about sex and drugs And just uh, being this over the top <laughs> and As they are in this movie The three leads are fantastic Of course you got uh, Jacob Tremblay in there Who is just great in everything he does um, but then the other two leads, uh, which I apologize, I don't have their names right in front of me. Um, but the the little black boy in the movie is my favorite. He was in the last season of Last Man on Earth, which I just loved. And if you never watched that show, you should go watch it. Um, he is so funny. He steals the movie in this movie right here. But the th- all three leads are great, and they play their roles so well. And I just. I cannot even think of another movie this year That I laughed this hard And this consistent at it You know when I 
rank comedy movies I always say it's judged upon the laughs Right you gotta judge it upon the laughs Comedy movies are not made to be Oscar winners they're not made to be You know just the oh it's the, look how great The cinematography is and just All this foo foo stuff that a lot of critics Get into um, I base it on Laughs you're a comedy make me laugh And this movie had me in tears It had me with some deep gut Laughs that don't happen very often in Movies and I enjoyed my ass off at it You know, this is a movie where I knew I would like it I was excited for it But when I actually saw it It was so much better than I ever could have assumed It's much funnier than you think I know with comedies a lot of times They put all the funniest spots into the trailers That is not the case here I highly recommend Good Boys And it gets the prestigious 5 out of 5 Don Megas That's right 5 out of 5 stars for good boys, it does its job and it does it very, very well. Okay, switching gears, I'm gonna go on over to Angry Birds 2. This is our kid friendly movie review of the week. My daughter loves Angry Birds. She plays this game every single day on the iPad. And she was a little late to the game on the movie, to be honest, because she actually found Angry Birds through the game. And once she got really into the game I said, you know, there is a movie about it And I let her watch the first movie And she really, really dug it So when she saw the trailer for Angry Birds 2 She was all about it And um, so we saw it Saturday afternoon And, um, you know, this is one of those ones That as an adult, I'm going to say It's not the greatest movie uh, at all um, It's It's pretty bad at some points But... I'm going to tell you it from the kid standpoint Which is my daughter My daughter loved it She she was like 5 out of 5 stars She was Can we go watch it again The second we left the theater She talked about it all weekend long uh, She's already asked me to buy it when it comes out I mean she loved it and, and the movie's got some pretty funny parts in it It's just very sporadic And unfortunately some of the other parts are pretty dumb So you know so like it was one of those ones That, that as an adult you're just watching it Going hey I'm doing this for her I'm doing this for her um, You know but in the end of the day You know I'm not who the studio made Angry Birds for My daughter is And she loved it So I guess that's a win there So uh, like I said from my daughter's scale 5 out of 5 stars um, But from my scale I I would give Angry Birds a a 3 And that's being generous It's probably more of a 2 star movie Um, But it does have some really good laughs throughout it Uh, Unfortunately some of them are some of the scenes From the trailers so you knew they were coming But there's still some pretty funny parts Um, But yeah you know I'd give it 3 It's a good time uh, for the family To at least kick back and watch It's got some uh, It's got some heart to it So uh, there's not much to get into story wise On Angry Birds I mean it's just you know You got Bird Island and you got Piggy Island Who were the adversaries in the first movie But now there's Eagle Island And uh, they have to work together to see what's going on Over at the Eagle Island So uh, that's all I got for you on Angry Birds, man It is what it is <laughs> So, uh, you know, like I said, man It's always nice to be able to get out for an afternoon uh, And and have some quality time with my daughter And I think it'd be good for you guys You have kids, you know, get out of the house And go hit up the movies, watch a nice matinee Of Angry Birds 2 So there you go, good boys 5 out of 5 stars, Angry Birds 2 3 out of 5 Okay, um, and then I want to jump into So let's see, a couple of new things on television I always like to jump into and let you know What I'm thinking uh, I started finally season 3 of Glow Over on Netflix And uh, I love Glow I mean the first two seasons I really really adore um, This new third season of Glow I'm not super hot on it The first couple episodes were really bad To be honest And then, But it's now it's starting to pick up some pace In these last couple episodes that we watched so uh, I've heard from several people that the second half is way better than the first half So that's where my fingers are crossed Because that's kind of where I'm at now And uh, it is picking up some steam So we'll see where it ends up But yeah, Glow on Netflix And then I just started last night Brand new show over on HBO The Righteous Gemstones I've been waiting for this show for a long time It's got John Goodman, Danny McBride And Adam Devine um, He this This show I was down from the first trailer I watched it last night And it's really really good I I can't wait to see where the show goes from here Um, It's just I I don't even want to explain it Because I probably won't do it justice Um, But it's crazy Danny McBride and his producing partner write and direct it Uh, It's the same team that did like Eastbound and Down And did Vice Principals over the last couple years 
Um, it's got that same kind of humor. It's dark. It's great. And I highly recommend it. So check out The Righteous Gemstones over on HBO. Uh, just had its season premiere last night. Okay. So with that all being said, let's get into our news of the week. Body Brokers. Yes, that's a new movie coming together. And they've just brought on Jessica Roth and Thomas Decker to join the new crime thriller. Coleman Domingo and Nathan Stewart. Uh, have joined Jordan Peele's upcoming Candyman movie that he is currently filming uh, Marvel Television has announced that they're also going to be developing shows for the Disney Plus streaming app So this is pretty cool here um, Because originally we were only being told that um, Disney Plus was going to be doing like the Marvel Studios kind of shows uh, Like the Loki show and the Scarlet Witch show and the Hawkeye show, stuff like that But now we're finding out that shows... Just using these as examples But like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Or um, Cloak and Dagger The Runaways You know things like that um, Can be produced and put on Disney Plus as well So they are working on some new shows They won't give us any details But at least we know something new is cooking for Disney Plus That it comes from the other side of Marvel So that's pretty cool The upcoming Robert Downey Jr. uh, Voyage of Dr. Doolittle movie has been given a new title. The movie will now just be called Doolittle, and it comes out next year. Netflix has landed Pyros, which is going to be a feature adaptation that Reese Witherspoon is set to star in. It's based on the book. Uh, Disney is talking about possibly doing an Aladdin sequel because Aladdin did so damn good and made over a billion dollars. So now they're definitely looking into that sequel over there. Mike Flanagan says that his Haunting of Bly Manor is going to be much scarier than Haunting on Hill House So that's coming soon to Netflix and that gets me very excited I love hearing when things are going to be scarier We have the first trailer for Little Women The first trailer for A Hidden Life And the trailer for The Kill Team Good Girls Season 3 is going to be expanded They're going to get more episodes in it So I'm all for that I love Good Girls This show is really really good Very underrated out there Piper Parabo has joined the cast of Showtime's Petty Dreadful sequel, City of Angels So great casting there Anna Kendrick's new upcoming HBO Max streaming show, uh, Love Life Is going to be a romantic comedy and they just added Scoot McNary to the cast uh, Alexa- Alexandra Aja is set to direct an interactive haunted house film for Amblin So there you go man uh, I like that, I love the sound of that um, I love That we're doing more and more Interactive stuff, I think it's super Super cool James Wan Is is going to be producing a new Horror movie called There's Someone Inside Your House, and I think That might actually be coming to Netflix So that would be pretty interesting NBC is developing a TV adaptation of the old school movie St. Elmo's Fire That's right, so he's going to be uh, NBC producing a new TV adaptation of it We have everything coming and going to Hulu in September, so check that out uh, Stage 6 Films is developing a Searching sequel uh, John Cho starred in Searching, which came out last year And I loved it, it was one of my favorite movies of the year Searching is so damn good Um They are saying sequel, but it's not really a sequel This is not going to be based on John Cho's character Or anybody else from that first movie What they mean by sequel is just that they're using kind of the same concept Which is, you know, that movie was done over cell phones and laptops and tablets You know, everything was kind of social media uh, This is how you found out about stuff And that style is what they're moving forward with a sequel on So, not a direct sequel, but a sequel in vain for searching Which I'm totally down for We have the new teaser trailer for Crank Yankers Yes, Crank Yankers is back over on Comedy Central And that's pretty damn awesome I can't wait to see it Kingsman actress Sophie Cookson Is joining Mark Wahlberg in his upcoming movie Infinite Amazon's Wheel of Time series Has just added Madeline Madden to the cast Uh, Henry Golding is set to star as the Ninja Commando Snake Eyes in the upcoming G.I. Joe spinoff So 
I, I'm still torn on where how we're doing a Snake Eyes spinoff. Are we going to actually let him talk? Is he going to, you know, is this going to be a prequel before he gets hurt? That's what I'm curious about because Snake Eyes does not talk. He is a mute who is scarred and that's why he's under a ninja suit. Um, but you don't get a Henry Golding if that's what you're going to do. So I'm wondering <laughs> if um, they are just planning to actually do a prequel before he gets injured and then maybe that's where the movie will leave off. Um, or they're going to go a different route Where maybe they bring his voice box back Or I don't know We'll have to wait and see Snake Eyes is a great character though I mean if you're going to do a spin-off movie That's not G.I. Joe I guess you go with Snake Eyes And uh, good luck It's great casting Henry Golding is awesome So we'll see where it goes Alright next up We have a new Netflix Coming of age drama series That they're putting together Called Ginny and Georgia That's right so, uh, yeah, can't stop Netflix. Always got stuff coming. My boy Dave Batista is set to star in and produce a new action thriller called Trap House. I love this. I love the sound of this. It sound it just being an action thriller in this house with a bunch of traps in it. Uh, basically, an adult home alone kind of situation. Uh, Dave Batista, the best one for the job. I love it. Love it. Love it. Dennis Leary is set to star in a new Fox holiday special called A Moody Christmas Ashley Park is joining Lily Collins in the new Paramount Network show Emily in Paris Aquafina is set to star in The Last Adventure of Constance Veretti So that's coming soon We have a brand new Joker image from the upcoming movie which looks awesome Looks really really cool And uh, still hearing nothing but great things about this movie And how much money it's going to make When it comes out in October The Crown creator teases that Helen Mirren could actually play the Queen In future seasons So that's pretty interesting there Sasha Baron Cohen uh, is filming The Spy Which is another new Netflix series And we got some first look photos from that going on Our social media We have the first um, trailer for Parasite which is a new Bong Joon Hoon uh, thriller movie, which is coming out. Arrow favorite Katrina Law, she was awesome um, on Arrow, and now she has just been brought on as a series regular for season ten of Hawaii Five O. So great addition there. I love me some Hawaii Five O. I'm all about it. 13 Reasons Why we have the brand new Season 3 trailer It actually looks really really good It looks way better in Season 2 So check that out Um, Star Wars Resistance Which is a cartoon uh, Set in the Star Wars universe Is going to end with Season 2 And we have the first trailer announced for that Uh, We got a pretty cool article up With the 17 biggest summer box office winners and losers So check that out if you're interested Comedian and Two Dope Queen star Phoebe Robinson is headed to Comedy Central to star in and executive produce an interview series. Leah Remini's Scientology in the Aftermath is set to end with an explosive special on its last episode. Big, big news coming out right before the weekend, and that's that Ewan McGregor is in final negotiations to reprise his role as Obi-Wan Kenobi for a new Obi-Wan series that will be coming to the Disney Plus streaming network This is awesome We've been hearing about Ewan McGregor reprising his Obi-Wan role for a long time now It was supposed to be for an Obi-Wan movie um, Then you see how they've been pumping the brakes on the Star Wars solo movies lately But you know what? Disney Plus gives them that outlet That they can jump right back into it and do something real nice You know, 8-10 to 10 episodes with a real nice budget and scale Um, You can actually tell a bigger story than a movie So this could be great And I'm very happy to hear uh, Ewan McGregor returning Because he is an awesome Obi-Wan And I can't wait to see further adventures Showtime has ordered a new fantasy series Called Gormengast Which uh, Neil Gaiman is set to produce To All the Boys Yes, that's another Netflix movie The sequel is releasing in February 2020 And the third film is already beginning production Oh my god They just ain't waiting on this thing They're moving right forward with Samoa So pretty cool there Um, People love that show And it has just become so damn big for Netflix To all the boys So number two coming soon And number three already in production 
Michael Semino is set to lead the Love Simon series for Disney Plus, so he'll be uh, going to switch it up a little bit from what the movie did. Um, but you know, we have your new lead actor there for that. Ronda Rousey, my girl Ronda Rousey from the WWE and of course UFC, has just joined Fox. Uh, their show 911 for their season three in a, in a recurring role actually so pretty awesome great addition there I know Rhonda's trying very very hard at the acting thing sometimes she's good sometimes she's not so good but I love 911 it's one of my favorite shows on television so I think she'll be a cool addition there for that Ryan Johnson says that his Star Wars trilogy is going to be uh, will step beyond the legacy of the characters that's right so it's going to be a new fresh approach. Uh, a new narrative outside of the Skywalker saga, so he's super excited for that. Russell Brand is in is in talks to join Kenneth Branagh's Death on the Nile. You never know what's going to happen when you're recording live and the doorbell rings and dogs start barking. So apologize for that. Uh, like I said, Russell Brand is in talks to join Kenneth Branagh's Death on the Nile, um, which is, of course is his sequel to Murder on the Orient Express. So. Pretty cool to see Russell Brand kind of getting back into the swing of things. I still find him funny as hell. Kevin Hart is set to star in and produce a new comedy for STX Films. It's going to be called Night Wolf. That's right. And uh, I, I like the sounds of this. I love Kevin Hart. And I'm always on board to support the guy in any project that he does. So let's do it. Skateboarding comedy Betty gets a series order over on HBO. Netflix has ordered a sequel to the babysitter over on well, I already said Netflix. So over on Netflix with director McGee coming back to return. Um, I loved the babysitter. I thought this was a really cool movie. Uh, it was something that I was not expecting, <laughs> and the way it played out, it was just a ton of fun, man. I like McGee as a director. Uh, Netflix is the perfect spot for a movie like this. Where do they go from the, where the first movie did? I don't know. Um, but hey, I'm all down for a sequel to this. So there you go. Netflix, The Babysitter 2, coming soon with McG coming back to direct. Joel Holt is joining the new Walking uh, Dead spinoff in a recurring role. Neil Blomkamp has exited the new RoboCop sequel that he's been working on for like the last year. He will no longer be directing RoboCop Returns. So that's unfortunate um, You know, they were so excited about that It was going to be actually a direct sequel to the original Robocop He was going to try to get Peter Weller back They were using the original costume It was going to be a direct continuation I was super, super stoked And now he leaves Citing scheduling conflicts You've been on this movie for a year How the hell is there a scheduling conflict? I don't understand Because it's probably a BS excuse So... Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate, but hopefully someone else will step in and direct the film Kyle Chandler is joining George Clooney's Good Morning Midnight adaptation Elizabeth Perkins is joining Dennis Leary for that moody Christmas that they're doing Disney makes history as five films have crossed the one billion dollar mark in just a single year That's right, um, let's see if I can do this off the top of my head Toy Story 4, The Lion King, Avengers Endgame um, uh, Captain Marvel, and what the hell is the fifth one? Give me a second. See, I tried to do my own trivia live on the air, and I'm like, who the hell am I forgetting here? Um, hmm. oh, Aladdin. Duh. We just talked about Aladdin earlier. So there you go. So Captain Marvel, 1.1 billion. Avengers Endgame, 2.79 billion. Lion King, 1.3 billion. Aladdin, 1.3 billion. Um, yeah, so, and then Toy Story 4 crossing over, giving them five films in the billion dollar club. Insane, but so, so deserved. Love these movies, and uh, yeah, they're just going to continue to get better and better and bigger and bigger. Uh, let's see, Joss Whedon putting together the cast for his new upcoming HBO drama, The Nevers. So that's coming together pretty nice. Silicon Valley final season trailer um, has been released as this final season will launch in October over on HBO. I love Silicon Valley so much. I'm so sad to see this show go. Very, very bummed. Jason Blum hopes to release The Hunt in the future. Uh, that's right. Remember that movie, The Hunt, was just canceled. 
uh, Because of all the mass shootings Jason Blum is a producer on the film And he hopes that next year they'll maybe find a slot That they could release the movie in I know everybody still wants to put it out So we'll see where that goes Oscar winner Robert Richardson Has been set as the cinematographer For Venom 2 So that's pretty cool John Wick's Chad Stahelski Is going to be crafting additional action scenes For Birds of Prey That's right, so the Margot Robbie Harley Quinn Sequel, Birds of Prey um, Is going to be filming additional action scenes And they've hired the director of the John Wick series Chad Stahelski To do second unit directing And actually craft and put together These new action scenes for the movie To beef it up and that's awesome because there ain't probably nobody better than this guy to get to, to get doing for uh, this movie. So very very cool. I love to hear it. Beef it up. Beef it up. More and more action. All right, the Mortal Kombat movie is starting to make headlines as it's starting to finally put its cast together, and we have three new additions that we got going on. Uh, Supergirl's Mikad Burke, uh, Brooks will be playing Jax, the cyber enhanced officer uh, of the special forces. Uh, newcomer Sissy Stringer has been cast as Melina, who's the evil clone of Katana, and Ichi the Killer's Tanabu Asano has been cast as Raiden, the immortal god of thunder. Um, so this is pretty damn cool right here. We already know that uh, Joe Taslin has been cast as Sub Zero. We talked about that a couple weeks ago. Um, and then there's also news that Ludi Lin, who was the Black Ranger in the Power Rangers movie a couple years ago, uh, is in the final negotiations to play Liu Kang. So, so some pretty cool Mortal Kombat casting there coming down the pipeline. Krypton has officially been canceled over at the Sci-Fi Network, and their spinoff of Lobo has also been crashed and burned. They have canceled that as well. No longer in development uh, is the Lobo spinoff, and Krypton no more after its two seasons that ran on Sci-Fi. Evan Goldberg and Seth Rogen are teasing a bigger and better Boys season two. Remember, and you've been hearing me. Glowed about this show for weeks The Boys on Amazon Prime is one of the best shows I've seen in years They're currently filming season 2 And I love reading that they're just going to make it bigger Better, funnier, gorier, bloodier um, Just making it both Beefing it up man And I'm all about it Let's see here, what else we got Netflix is developing an animated Elvis Super Spy series This is so stupid My boy Friggins actually sent this news to me when it broke I didn't. I hadn't even seen it yet um, and I was like, this is dumb as shit That Elvis Presley was a secret agent uh, In his spare time <laughs> So, I don't know man It's going to have to win me over But it's going to be an animated series Coming to Netflix uh, AMC and ITV Have ordered a new three part drama With Michael Sheen to star Called Quiz Drew Barrymore is filming a pilot for a new daytime talk show That she's trying to get off the ground it Chapter 2 is looking to make at least $110 million, if not more, uh, in its opening weekend. Peter Fonda had passed away a couple days ago at the age of 79, so very sad to hear that. Of course, best known for his role in Easy Rider. Um, our thoughts and prayers to his family and friends. Amy Efron's The Other Side of the Wall is set for a live-action adaptation. Putting that together We have a new IMAX It Chapter 2 trailer That we posted that you can check out with some new footage Benioff and Weiss That's right, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss From Game of Thrones uh, They are of course doing their own Star Wars trilogy, but now they're saying That they might actually only write one entry In the new trilogy That They might just write the first movie and let it kind of go from there So very interesting That they're so involved in their writers But they're only going to write the first movie it Doesn't make much sense, but we'll see where that goes Sarah Chalk is set to star opposite Catherine Heigl in the new Netflix 10 episode adaptation of Firefly Lane The show Instinct has been cancelled after two seasons um, And it will wrap its 11 episode sophomore run on August 25th Kate Mikuchi is joining um, Supergirl for its upcoming season 5 premiere Let's 
see here. Oh, and this was big news that just broke yesterday that Kevin Smith is actually going to be producing and show running the upcoming He Man and the Masters of the Universe sequel series. That's right, a sequel series, Masters of the Universe Revelation, which is a new animated series that will be coming to Netflix and it will actually um, be a direct sequel to the original 80s cartoon. So very, very cool. I grew up on the 80s cartoon. I'm not much into animation anymore these days, but I will watch a Kevin Smith produced He-Man sequel, man. So let's do it. Very, very cool news there. Um, Harry Styles has passed on doing the Little Mermaid role. So yes, we had talked about him possibly being Prince Eric, and he has decided not to and actually focus on recording his next album. So very, very interesting. Congratulations to Spider-Man Far From Home That movie is Sony's Biggest movie ever Biggest movie ever That's right, it has passed The James Bond movie Skyfall To become the biggest Sony release Of all time at the worldwide box office So congratulations to Spider-Man Far From Home Woo! Such a good movie and well, well deserved Um Good Boys We had talked about that before That it's the number one movie in the US It's actually the first time That an R-rated comedy Has placed number one at the box office Since The Boss In spring of 2016 Isn't that crazy? I thought for sure other movies had done it But it's been since 2016 man People need to go out and support comedies Because they need it It is well well deserved for you guys to go out and support that Betty Gilpin and J.K. Simmons are in talks to join Chris Pratt in his upcoming movie Ghost Draft Um, I'm really, really loving Betty Gilpin these days I mean, she's so amazing on Glow Um, And uh, yeah, I'd love to see anything she's in Because now they took the hunt away from me I need to see some other projects So I'm glad to see that she's continuing to get work HBO Max, the streaming service, has acquired Steven Soderbergh's new comedy Starring Meryl Streep and Gemma Chan The Haunting of Hill House Director's Cut is actually coming to Blu-ray In October Yes, a Netflix show You have to buy on Blu-ray for the Director's Cut Because it won't be anywhere else Chris Pine is set to play Nixon lawyer John Dean In an upcoming Amazon Studios movie James Gunn's The Suicide Squad Has enlisted Pitch Perfect 2's Flula Borg To the cast Dan Stevens is joining Will Ferrell In Netflix's new upcoming movie Eurovision um, Practical Magic is getting a prequel Over on the HBO Max streaming service Yes, they've ordered a pilot over there Director Johannes Roberts teases the Resident Evil reboot Says they're still working on it And it will be closer to the video game Andrew Scott is set to play Jopari In HBO and BBC's His Dark Materials adaptation Stephen Amell is booking his first gig after he gets done with Arrow He's going to star on a new show for Stars, um, Which will be based in the wrestling world It's going to be a wrestling drama called Heels That's right, so very very cool We all know uh, Stephen Amell is a very big wrestling fan He's done stuff with WWE in the past And uh, very cool to see him do something like this So Heels is coming to the Stars Network uh, hopefully next year Kerry Washington and Sterling K. Brown Are set to star in a new uh, movie called Shadow Force I'm all about that A new action drama Great casting there Generation Z Ben Whitley is set to write and direct The new zombie drama for the BBC We have the new trailer for Underwater Which is a new Kristen Stewart sci-fi movie That's coming together Uh, You can see that trailer now We've already posted that up The Connors, Katie Siegel joined the cast last season in a little role Well they're saying that she might actually be brought back for a major season 2 stint uh, coming up Carrie Underwood, Reba McIntyre and Dolly Parton will host the 2019 CMA Awards And lastly, a big old congratulations to my boy Dwayne The Rock Johnson Who surprised everybody this morning by announcing that he got married yesterday That's right, he married his longtime girlfriend Lauren Hashian in Hawaii so uh, August 18th um, They got that done And um, congratulations to the newlywed Couple And that's our news ladies and gentlemen We got through that very very nice In that half hour kind of sweet spot Let's talk release dates And box office And we'll wrap this baby up Out on Blu-ray and DVD tomorrow Is going to be Bright Burn, The Hustle And A Dog's Journey In theaters this Friday is going to be Angel Has Fallen and Ready or Not 
And here's your weekend box office Coming in number 10 It's Art of Racing in the Rain With 4.4 mil Number 9 is Blinded by the Light With 4.5 million Number 8 is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood With 7.6 Number 7 is Dora and the Lost City of Gold With 8.5 Number 6 is 47 Meters Down Uncaged With 9 million Number 5 Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark With 10.1 Number 4 is The Angry Birds Movie 2 With 10.5 million dollars Number 3 is The Lion King with 11.9 Number 2 is Hobbs and Shaw with 14.1 And your number 1 movie is Good Boys with $21 million So very, very cool Congratulations to Good Boys $21 mil, very, very big for a comedy Especially an R-rated comedy So they are loving the results there And with that being said my friends That does it for us Thank you so much for tuning in for another week's worth of news I appreciate you tuning in and listening And let us get you caught up to speed With everything going down Um, Our official webpage is amiontheair.com You can follow us on Facebook Give us a like over at facebook.com Slash amiontheair You can follow us on Twitter at amiontheair Follow me on Twitter at dxdonmega Dxdonmega um, On Twitter you can follow me on Stardust Stardust is a great app that does 30 second mini um, Movie reviews TV show reviews, trailers It's a great app, I can't promote it enough Download Stardust And give me a follow at simply Don Mega, D-O-N-M-E-G-A I'll give you a follow back uh, You can listen to us on Apple Podcast If Apple's not your thing, you can get us on Spotify iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Stitcher TuneIn, Google Play Google Play Podcast um, We're all over the interwebs um, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube Just search Am I on the Air And lastly, our great affiliates over at RedDragonsRadio.com Follow on Twitter at RedDragonsRadio And um, there's a bunch of great podcasts Always streaming on that website So check us out and then check out something new and fresh So that does it for me on this Monday, August the 19th Thank you so much for tuning in I hope you all have a great week I can't wait this weekend We'll watch Angel Has Fallen I'm looking forward to it Uh, The third in the Olympus Has Fallen trilogy And I hope it's a fun ride And um, we'll see what else comes our way So have a great week everybody Take care of yourselves and each other And until next time y'all Peace Bye everybody Red Dragons! Red Dragons!